Three baguettes in a basket. I guess the biggest problem that I have here is that I don't eat omelets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, oh, it's hot. The scallops. Cooked in a wood oven. Wood oven. This is the product of 140 years of omelet making. This is the pinnacle omelet. Michelin star omelet. Never thought I'd say that. That's cool. Here we go, let's dive into this thing. Fluffy. There we go. This is like the cotton candy of omelets. Boy. Is it fascinating? The shell is there of the egg of the omelet, but it's like, it's all foam inside. Butter and olive oil and eggs and the smoke from the, from the fire. Look at this thing. I've never had anything so foamy. And that's what they were doing when it came in. They were whisking this thing. Whisking this thing. Oh my gosh. I love that. This looks like an impossible feat to eat. Not at all. I'm gonna destroy this. And it's not because I'm hungry. It's because it's like, it's, it looks like it's a lot, but it's not. I thought originally when I saw the omelets that everything was gonna be inside the omelet, but I see now that it's like on the side. They're like, we make the omelets, the omelets are perfect, and then anything else is on the side. Bacon on the side, whatever. I thought it was gonna be mixed in for some reason. But look at this, they have a plate for me that is not on the menu that they so kindly made gluten free and vegan. Thank you. This is a carrot cinnamon puree and you can actually get it with an omelet. There's one of the omelets that has this with it. Um, it is delicious. It is like autumn -y dreams, you know what I mean? It's like that flavor of autumn that we would have in the United States. Very, I guess it's a cinnamon that comes through with the carrot and it's kind of like pumpkin. I don't know. It's really nice though. This time, look at this thing. It's like cotton candy. Seriously, amazing. Okay, what's the verdict? It's very different. Uh, it did remind me of a lot of Michelin star meals I've had with, with foam in different, in different cases. This is like from 1888, so really fascinating. Um, it wasn't that big. Uh, it's like two and a half eggs, I think. Uh, that'd be my guess, maybe three. And it was just really whisked and there was, you know, a really creative way for butter and foam. It's really interesting. I'd say it's about six dollars more than I would want to spend. Um, but it did come with scallops and there were a few other options for other side dishes. But once in, a, once in a lifetime meal, you know. You're here, you're in the mountain, you gotta do it. I mean, we're touching history, you know. So this is cool.
here's one of the main drawbridges here, getting into the city. And uh, as you can see, these floors probably weren't here. They might they might have had some crocodiles or sharks in here or something. I mean, you pull the drawbridge up, and then on all sides, there's no way you're getting in here. You got to go up and over. It's crazy. This is probably one of the first shark-infested zoos. Mount Saint Michelle. The water's creeping. We found ourselves looking for coffee and finding a cookie shop from 1903 that's uh, distributed all over France. Um, so that's kind of fun. They have a little cafe in the front and a beautiful view of the castle. Look how big it is. Oh my god. Also, it happens the espresso here is essentially two for one prices of the ones on the castle mountain abbey. Just grab it. Back Just take it. Because you don't know how to back them up yourself, so we, we can take care of that. It's a special surprise. House of Cookies. Also, if you want baby, baby cookies, baby Madeline's. Beautiful view. Oh my gosh. A restaurant with the best view around here. I couldn't ask for anything more. The menu is essentially two set menus. You can either order the 40 euro one or the 30 euro one. And then you pick your courses. It's voila. As they say. Got another omelet. Found out another omelet. Amazing. Look at that. Egg foam, guys. This is the cool new thing. Coming to breakfast near you. Egg foam Sundays. It's not Sunday, but this is egg foam. <laughs> Swimming in the sea of egg foam <laughs> and then you layer it up with egg foam just to make sure you're good to go on the egg foam and then whenever you think you have enough egg foam you grab just a tiny bit more okay final course Of this story is that I do forgive Mont Saint Michel for being remote. It's been lovely to come out here, even though they don't have almond milk lattes. It's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. Because this is what I'm looking at. And like, how can you have a bad feeling about anything when you're looking at something so beautiful? Picture us. Uh -oh.